There's a fundamental illusion in the world that somehow people are separate from nature. There isn't one living system that is stable. Our food is becoming poison. There's an ocean crisis that is occurring right now. Yet to come. Making people realize that they are not separate from that web of, of life and biodiversity on the planet. And that There's a real link between diet and environment. And um, it would Whereas 20 years ago there were perhaps 200 natural disasters a year, now we're facing something more like 400. None of us want to be environment refugees. So we're seeing effects already, but there's much more in the pipeline. Some have tried to claim that the science is unconformed. They are wrong. Everybody can give We're up going to meat. We have to have a much less meat-based diet. Uh, that is serious. I think diet needs to be addressed. What can the European Parliament do and the governments of the world? I suggest that they could encourage and guide people to reduce meat consumption. One of the huge answers to our global crisis is more... It's no longer a personal choice. To help the environment, it's better than driving a hybrid car. This is something that's going to affect the whole of the planet. I think it's really beautiful and amazing that the food that heals us is also the same food that heals the planet. Perhaps even more importantly is the impact of a vegan diet on the planet. You know, animal farming is also uh, the single largest source of nutrient pollution, which is an you know, extremely destructive. Eighty percent of the area that is destroyed in the Amazon is occupied by cattle today. Fire burning is a major contributor to the problems, and more often than not, they're clearing forests so that they can do grazing of cattle. life about only having some 97 months left in which to ensure greenhouse gas emissions reach their absolute peak otherwise it may well be too late